Tina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another deck of Scarlet review slash try on slash swatches and everything, all that good stuff. If you haven't heard about this subscription service, it's a bi-monthly subscription. So once every other month you get a box with a full-on collection because you get a palette with eyeshadows, with um, cheek colors, with lip colors, and two pencils, eye pencil and a lip pencil which is basically a full-on um, makeup collection in a box for only $29.95. So that's a great price. It's great, great quality. If you want to hear a little bit more about that, um, check out my previous video, which I did for, I think, March, April um, box. And um, this time, this month, it's the, uh, the box is in collaboration. Oh, and one really interesting thing about this is that every single box is always in collaboration with one of your favorite YouTubers. So how cool is that? So um, the last box that I reviewed was in collaboration with Yvonne, and um, this time is in collaboration with Amy Rose Walker. She's beautiful, check out her channel, I'm going to link it down below. And you get this box, which looks like that. It's really sleek and pretty. And then um, a little card with a few words about her and from her. And then inside you get the palette and the two pencils. This looks so like sleek and expensive and so pretty and beautiful. I'm going to zoom you in and um, just show you a picture of this palette and also some swatches. So it comes inside a sleeve and I really like the contrast right here. The um, black with the pink label and then inside it's white with pink label and it has these kind of um, little urals on top of it. It's just really pretty. Really love the design this month. And inside it looks like that. Mine is a little bit used because I just used it for this tutorial. And um, But I'm going to insert a picture and some swatches that I did of these shades. So for three eyeshadows we have Dream, Gold Digger and Luna. Dream is a matte, kind of a creamy, a little bit of a yellow undertone banana shade. Gold Digger is a very pretty shimmery um, gold with a little bit more of a greenish olive undertone. And then we have Luna, which is a deep plum shade and it's also more of a um, shiny finish. Then we have a bronzer and a highlighter. The bronzer is called Dusk and the highlighter is called Prosecco. Two really, really beautiful shades. And then for lip colors, we have Pinky Promise and Sass Queen. I really love the Sass Queen name. It's like the perfect name for this hot pink shade. And then Pinky Promise is a beautiful nude. Then for the um, lip pencil and eye pencil, we have those two. So the lip pencil is called Belle and it's a beautiful, beautiful nude, um, kind of your lip color but better shade, a great everyday shade. This is the type of color that is great under any color of lipstick just because it creates, gives you like a base on your lips without giving too much color. And then the eye pencil is called Twilight and I can't really tell what color it is. It's almost like a black, like a grayish black, but I think it has a little bit, almost like a purpley undertone to it. So like a dark, 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 like a plum shade almost, like a taupey plum. I don't know how to describe that, but it's a very pretty color, especially now for winter and fall time. So this is this box. Another great thing that I forgot to mention about this box is that it's you're not obligated. You can skip any month because they are showing the collection online on their website before it launches. So you can decide whether you want to receive next month's box or don't and you can just skip a month. And also you can always quit the subscription if you don't want it anymore. You can just um, unsubscribe anytime. So that is really, really great. And yeah, if you want to see how these products perform on my face, then just keep on watching. The lighting might be a little bit off because I have my window open on that side and um, nothing on this side and the light is in front of me so this eye might look a little bit brighter. Anyway, we're gonna jump right in. I'm going to start by priming my lid with the um, Lorac Behind the Scenes 
eyeshadow primer. I'm going to apply that all over the lid up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to start with a fluffy blending brush. This is E25 by Sigma. And I'm going to take the um, bronzer actually from the palette, which is called Dusk, which is this one. And I'm going to tap it just once very lightly into this shade and apply it in the crease. The reason I'm tapping really lightly is because this shade is so pigmented, I went too a little too hard on this eye. So I'm just going to do it a little bit lightly and then I'm also going to take a little bit under the eye as well. This is going to act as my transition shade in the crease just to warm up the eye area a little bit. Then I'm going to take the color Gold Digger which is this shade. It's a really pretty gold shimmery shade and um, but it's not chunky or glittery. So I'm applying that with my finger just because I wanted to get most of the intensity of it and I find that applying eyeshadows with your finger just makes them stick a little bit better and go on a little bit more pigmented. This is more of a greenish gold so you know how golds usually have like a yellow or a greenish undertone. This is more of a greenish undertone definitely. And it is very pigmented and very pretty on the lid. Now I'm going to move on to the darker shade Luna, which is probably my favorite color in this palette. It's a very deep plum shade and it's a little bit kind of pearly and I'm going to take it with a pencil brush. This is 219 by MAC and I'm going to be applying it to the very outer corner right here close to the lash line like that, almost like an eyeliner and I'm going to take it outwards and make it a little bit thicker as I go out. So kind of like a triangle shade like that. And that is going to just darken this outer corner a little bit. Then I'm going to take a pointed but a little more fluffy brush. This is E45 by Sigma. And with that same color, I'm going to take it a little bit into the crease as well. And then blend out the color that I put on the lash line. And just blend everything together and outwards like that. going to take a little bit more, just deepen this color. We are going to darken it a little bit more um, a little bit later on, but for now, this is how I'm going to leave it. Now I'm going to take a more precise flat brush. This is E20 by Sigma, and with that same Luna shade, I'm going to be applying that under my lower lash line, connecting it to this outer corner of the eye with the shade that I have in my crease. I'm going to take a small flat brush and um, this is E20 by Sigma and I'm going to take um, E21 sorry and I'm going to take the gold digger shade again and apply it under my tear duct right here on the inner corner and just blend it into the Luna shade that's under my lower lash line and blend them together and then I'm going to take Dream which is this creamy shade. It has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it, to it so almost like a banana shade. And I'm going to be applying that with my tiny flat brush to the inner corner and just blend it all around the very inner corner. I'm also going to just swipe it up a little bit into the gold shade that's on the lid just to make it then blend together a little bit more. Then I'm going to take a more big flat brush. This is E, um, no, sorry, 252 by MAC. And with that same shade, I'm going to be applying that under my eyebrow to highlight a little bit. And then as I always do, I'm going to also apply a little bit of that under the very outer corner of the eye right here, just to clean up this outer edge and make the outer edge look a little bit more sharp like that. And now it's time to darken the outer corner a little bit more. I'm going to take the pencil brush again with the Luna shade and just tap a little bit of that on top of the outer corner just to darken it a little bit more. Also a little bit on the eye as well. 
lastly I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend out the outer edges again a little bit more to make everything look smoother then I'm going to be applying the eyeliner that comes with the palette in the shade Twilight and I'm going to be applying that to my waterline this pencil is so incredibly smooth and pigmented it doesn't tie on your eye or anything I really like that it's retractable like that and it's just so smooth and pigmented I'm also going to take it to the upper lash line on the upper lash line close to the lashes and then work it a little bit more on this outer corner to just get a lot of the product on my eye and then I'm going to be blending it and winging it with the um, E65 small angle brush by Sigma I'm just smudging this line along the upper lash line and then blending it out on the outer corner creating kind of a wing to use that as an actual eyeliner that is it now I'm just going to curl up my lashes and apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and we're going to be moving on to the rest of the face now you can really see that this side of my face is a lot brighter than this side sorry about that anyway try to ignore it I'm going to move on to the rest of my face first I'm going to bronze up my face with dusk which is this shade and I'm just using the um, Tuscan Hills brush I don't know what number it is it doesn't say so I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit this color reminds me a little bit of the um, NARS Laguna bronzer unfortunately I don't have that one right now to kind of compare the two but it just reminds me of it in terms of the warmth the shade and the fact that this bronzer has a little bit of a sheen to it so yeah it's a really pretty color so I'm just applying that on the outer perimeter of my face and my cheeks to warm up my face a little bit has kind of a really really soft sheen to it nothing too shimmery or anything like that but really nice gives like a glow to the face now I'm going to be applying Prosecco which is the highlighter in this palette but because this is more of a pink highlight and a little bit too dark for my skin tone it won't really look as a highlighter on me it's more of like a really like shiny blush so I'm just going to use it almost like as a blush topper without using blush underneath so just in the area in between um, my cheeks and my cheekbones where I would apply in between where I would apply blush and highlight so this is kind of in the middle I'm going to use the Sigma F15 brush for that it's like a flat as you can see um, dual fiber brush I'm going to take a little bit of Prosecco and just apply that to my cheeks let's see so yeah it definitely gives a lot of sheen you can see but it also gives a little bit of a color so when I look forward it looks a little more pinky and then when I tilt my head you can see the highlight it's a very subtle highlight though nothing too crazy but it is a really pretty color it's almost like a pinky um, pinky peachy shade not too pink not too orange I really like it really nice that and now I'm going to move on to the lips I'm going to take the lip pencil that comes with it in the shade Belle which looks like a very very pretty everyday your lip color but better shade like a nudish pink and I'm going to outline my lips with that <coughs> that's a really pretty everyday shade I think I'm in love I'm going to um, blend it inwards a little bit on the um, outer corners that's a really pretty shade I love it so much okay and now I'm going to apply not now sorry now I'm going to be applying like just who is that Okay, that's mama. I'm gonna call you later. I'm going to take obviously um, Pinky Promise. I'm not going to go with that shade. Please excuse me. I know that that's probably what you wanted to see on, but that's just 
not me. <laughs> That's too bright for me. This is not something I would use, although it is so daring, so like cool and oh my god, if you're gonna wear this, then wow. <laughs> but um, with this pencil, I think this is a really pretty match to this um, lip shade. I think it's almost the same, so I think it's gonna match it really nicely and I really want to see how that looks like on. So I'm going to be applying that with a um, lip brush. This is L05 by Sigma. It's a little bit lighter than the pencil actually. Okay, so this lip color is a little bit more pink and a little bit lighter than the actual lip pencil but that's actually looks really nice together i'm gonna go in with the pencil again on top because it's really nice to use a pencil that's a little bit but just a tad darker than the lip color and just create almost like an ombre lip like that really pretty i love it but i can't wait to try and wear the lip liner on its own all over the, the lips as well as an everyday shade but this one is really nice as well it's a really creamy consistency of the lip color and it's not glossy or anything so it's like a matte lip but matte creamy lip it's like they took a matte creamy lipstick and liquefied it and just put it in this if that makes sense but i really like the color So that's it for today's video guys, check out the description box below for a link to the subscription service, I really recommend it, I think it's really um, like well made, it's great quality, I am very impressed again for the second time of the quality of these shades and um, products in this box and for $29.95 I think who can beat that. So um, check out the description box for that and of course keep an eye for my vlogmas that's coming up right next week so um december 1st i'm really really excited for that and um just click the little bell button to turn on your notifications to get a notification every time i upload a video which starting december 1st and up until december 23rd is going to be every single day so um yeah that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and i'm going to talk to you all on saturday no tuesday no yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Bye.